Jesus, I thank you for this privilege, Lord, of letting me pray, God, that I, Jesus, am your ambassador here today, standing here representing you, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the great I am, the one who's coming back again, the one who came, died, and rose again on the third day. And I'm so privileged to stand here today. So thank you for this honor, Jesus. God, for those that came before us, like George Washington and Valley Forge and Abraham Lincoln, who sought after you in Gettysburg, Jesus, and the Founding Fathers in Independence Hall, Jesus, that sought after you and fasted and prayed for this nation to be founded on your principles and your words and your truths. God, forgive us. Jesus, we've lost sight of you. We've forgotten you, God, in our country. And we're asking you to forgive us, Jesus, that your promise and your word says that if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek your face and turn from their wicked ways, that you'll heal our land. Jesus, you are our only hope. God, I pray for our leader, Speaker Terzai, Leader Cutler, Governor Wolf, President Trump. Lord, thank you that he stands beside Israel unequivocally, Lord. Thank you that Jesus, that we're blessed because we stand by Israel and we ask for the peace of Jerusalem as your word says, God. We ask that we not be overcome by evil and that we overcome evil with good in this land once again. I claim all these things in the powerful, mighty name of Jesus, the one who, at, at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess, Jesus, that you are Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.